what's up, everyone? Welcome to day two of uh, Tomato Sauce Week. Yeah. Th- thank you very much. Woo-hoo! I'm trying to do this still. There you are. <laughs> That's what we yeah. like. So we made we made this tremendous sauce, and I- I'm gonna say, I just had a taste of it just now. It's fantastic. Mm. Honestly, it's fantastic. It's rich. It's thick. It's got the right amount of like tart from the from the tomatoes in it and a little balsamic vinegar, but the sweetness in the balsamic vinegar and a little bit, it's really good, you gotta make it. And um, something that I forgot to say on Monday is you can store it all kinds of ways. And I said, you really should um, make a big batch of it and then and put it away for you know, winter. So you can pull it out and you can do what we're gonna do today, what we're gonna make Friday. But here's a really good way to do it. Flat in a Ziploc bag in the freezer. Oh. That's uh, just, a, now look, for a couple of reasons, but the flat primarily because it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Right. It's way easier storing it like this than it is in all kinds of you know plastic containers and jars and, and what have you. So this is not quite there yet from when I just had the idea to do it. We're good. Cool? Cool. All right, today we're making a, um, I guess what really will amount to be like a like a uh, like a ratatouille, but we're going to end up baking it with a little cheese on top of it. Nonetheless, it will eventually essentially take the shape of a ratatouille, except the part of the tomatoes will be played by the sauce. Oh, nice! So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to saute up all these vegetables. And when you're sauteing any grouping of vegetables, you always do them in the order that uh, the first thing that goes in is the thing that takes longest. So the peppers that we're using are going to take a little bit of time. So we'll get these guys in there now, right? Hmm. And I've tried to make it in sort of reasonable little pieces. You know, you can cut out this little rib part here. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't even give a crap about it being there. It's not going to hurt anybody, that's for sure. Oh, I'm making way too much. I'm not going to need all this. I know what the container I'm going to put it in is. Okay. So my pan is not quite hot yet, but in these guys go, oh, listen. It's there. Here's the other thing that needs to go in now, too. Uh, asparagus. Asparagus take a while. So let me just do this. And these guys will go in. Oh, that's simple. Yep. Give a little bit of oil. Let them start to do their thing. And now we can pay attention to the other things here. And somebody cut a, a, a red onion. Not the way I like a red onion to be cut. <laughs> oh, I think it might have been me. What did we make? Did we make something that I needed a circle of red onion for? Uh, was it the tuna salad from, uh, from uh, what did we do? We did tuna salad with Tommy Gums. Was it that? No. Wasn't that? There was red onion in it, but not that kind. So these guys were just going to dice up. So you usually you cut it across the root, right? I do, yeah. and it's not. There was a. I, I'm remembering now. There was a specific reason that I cut it that way, and as I did it, I went, "No, I know I'm not going to be happy with this after the fact." Did you need rings? I needed ring for something. Yeah. And I never need rings. So maybe we can make onion rings. Oh. Well, now that I'm starting to like deep frying. Yeah. You are a lot more now. I am a lot Wait, more. Oh, it smells like Kobe. You're coming around to it? I am coming around. You know what? Because, wait, we did the fish taco here. That, by the way, I still am thinking about how damn good it was. Yeah. yeah. And um, Max and I, uh, for a Bed Bath & Beyond, I did deep fried chicken. Yes. Huh. And it was fantastic. And it wasn't a terrible, disgusting hassle. Was it like deep fried chicken that's different than regular fried chicken or? No, it was fried chicken. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't mean to call it deep fried chicken. 
it's just that we were just talking about deep frying it. Why, why am I using my fingers to do this? I don't know. I mean, I have things. You have many things. I have many things. Get a, get one of your spatulas. So these guys are just softening nicely. They don't, they don't need anything yet. Now, we've got these guys that can go in. Look at, there's just dogs circling the whole oh, there are dogs everywhere. They're all around. <laughs> So, zucchini, and zucchini goes really fast. So I will not throw this in until, like really, literally, minutes before I'm gonna need it. And the other thing that will go fast too will be this uh, eggplant. Chinese or Japanese eggplant, Lynn, do you know? Japanese. Japanese eggplant. Long and thin is Japanese? I think so. Now you come here questioning what I know. <laughs> so these guys could actually go in now because if you don't get them where you want them softened, they end up being actually a little spongy. And I don't like spongy. And I've got garlic here, though I have some open. Just a big clove will go in right near the end. Here's what I'm going to put it in. That's one clove. That's one big clove, right? <laughs> I'm going to do it in this. I tell people all the time, get yourself some cast iron. Not only does it cook amazingly, uh, I was home last night by myself. I had a uh, beautiful ribeye in the freezer. I took it out. I put it was. Uh, vacuum seal. I put it in the, um, put the whole thing in, uh, in a bowl of water, changed the water a couple times, and it was ready in about 40 minutes. Cooked it in that pan, just on the stove top. Oh my God, it was so good. So good. All right, so this is not just looking beautiful, but smelling beautiful too. Let's see if I have enough. Wow, I feel like I almost need more. Well, the sauce is gonna bulk it up a little bit. Let's throw some heat under here. Get these guys going. Let me see how this eggplant is. No seasoning. Not yet. Coming. We're coming, man. Should you expect the veggies to cook more while they're in the oven? Yeah, but they're not going to be in the oven, really. They're going to be under the broiler. Oh, okay. All I'm trying to do at that point, the top. oh, I better, yeah, is melt some cheese. You better get what, that hot? I want to get this warm, yeah. So we got that going. We got this going. All right, that's good, that's good. Uh, let me get my cheese out. And this is what we're using. Mozzarella? Mozzarella. Mozzarella. And balls of it. Can you use burrata if you wanted? Yeah. I think burrata would stand up quite as nicely though. You see, the thing about burrata to me is like, it's like, it's really moist in the middle. Yeah. And I find it would be a waste to cut it open, I think. I think the, this is this is sort of the same thing all the way through. And I'm not trying to cover every inch of this with cheese, but it gets hard to get it off. It's gonna have that like golden brown color, huh? It's gonna be nice. Oh yes. I mean I might bust into that second ball. It might be okay. Alright, look, here we go. Oh yeah, that looks done. That looks oh, good, right? You're so losing now, veggies. I lost somebody? What was it? Oh, here comes the dog. <laughs> what was it? Uh, pepper. Sorry, and boo -boo. Sorry, boo-boo, I don't want to burn you. Huh. You'll, get, you'll get hurt, and that would make me feel bad. Okay, eggplant. Uh, sorry, the uh, zucchini just went in. So I can start thinking about seasoning now. And I'm going to do this simply. I'm going to let the sauce 
do the speaking for most of that. So salt, pepper, shot of oil. I'm almost there. Right, my oven should be almost happening. Yep, that's ready. My sauce. This is almost there. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. I got an email I want to read. Hold on. Now I probably could have put my zucchini in a minute or two before. Damn it. Remember um, British Food Week? Yeah. Remember the Cullen skink? Yeah. That traditionally is made with what? Uh, uh, smoked white skink skunk. cod. Smoked cod. Haddock. 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 Smoked haddock that I couldn't find anywhere. I ended up making it with salmon. By the way, make the chowder. Make the, make the Cullen skink my way with the smoked salmon. It was amazing. Here's an email from uh, Martin Kilgore. Oh, Kilt. <laughs> Martin Kiltgore. And he writes, smoked haddock, five pounds for $109 at Stannington Seafood in Maine. What? I can't get the Stannington seafood in Maine, Martin. A hundred and nine dollars. But that's five pounds of it, and and so. So is that a lot? I guess. Feels so. like a lot to me. Well, twenty think, bucks a pound. Think about it. Well, salmon's like twenty bucks. Twenty, 20 bucks a one, pound. Twenty. That 50. salmon. That salmon would have been uh, probably something around there. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. right. Yeah, I, I and I would have used it if I could have gotten it. Thank you, Martin. On oh, the other thing, he says, why can't you use a couple cans of smoked kippers? Cost about five bucks. What? It actually makes a point there. Smoked fucking kippers. <laughs> all right, this is done. So now here's all I want to do. Do I want to, uh, I guess I should mix the two of them together, shouldn't I? I'm gonna have to do that. I'll do this over here for you, Max. Thank you. You're welcome. Turn this guy off. Oh, lucky. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. So what happens, buddy? I just kicked him. And I think one more. Wow. I can't believe it's wow. not scorching the wood underneath. Right. That's crazy. It doesn't matter that you put it on the heat. It's not going to affect it. The wood? No, the, the, the sauce in the pan. Oh, no, 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 no. It's just going to... You're making me do this thing backwards, Max. That's money. Oh, my goodness. Well, I should have really measured this whole thing. You know, it's funny. Every once in a while, I get a little whiff of balsamic. Oh, you do? Yeah, from the sauce, right. Okay, okay so now here's the cheese. Steamy ratatouille right there, man. Cheese goes like this. And it doesn't need to be covering every crevasse, right? No, it does not. In, fact, stick? in fact, I think it's better when it doesn't. Yeah, you know? I agree. I think it's nice like this. Okay, here we go. I'm loving this already. There you go. I'm worried that that's too high. Damn it. Okay, let's see. I don't want that. Much. Hold on. Hold on. Nobody move. Let me just move this guy down. Right, so you want you don't want it so close up to the heat. I don't want it to burn the shit out of it. Because you can see it's. I see that the the cheese has started to sweat already from just being in the oven in that that 15 seconds. All right, broiler action. That's where it should be. Okay, here's the plan. It's very simple. That's gonna be in here now, I'm gonna keep my eye on it. But while it's in there, let me talk about Squarespace for a second. Yeah. We've redone our website. We've gone from black into the light of white. It's fantastic. <laughs> Look it, there's the new, wait, old, old web. Okay, Lynn, stop. <laughs> old and dark. Go back to the other one. Old and dark. Old homepage, all black. New one, there, look it. Bright white, it feels fresh, like it says, like summer tomatoes. Go back again. Old homepage. And I love that homepage until we decided to change it. And then that moment, then hated I it. hated it. And the day that this new one uh, debuted, I was so happy. Look how beautiful that is. Let's take a look at a recipe page. Old recipe page. Old recipe page. And 
Boom. Oh, look at that. And the fish taco one and the recipe there. Eh, it's so good. Ladies and gentlemen. Wait, I got to check this. Ladies and gentlemen. Um, Squarespace.com is there to help you get a beautiful, fresh looking website for, uh, uh, for $8 a month on the, on the at the entry level. $8 a month gets you a website that looks like that. There and it look, is. How, look at it is. You could spend, I mean, you want to mm. add, you want to add to the $8 a month for all kinds of things, you can do that. But you can be in for as little as $8 a month. And if you use my name, Sam, at checkout, you'll get 10% off anything that you buy from them. Their, their software help us get the look that we wanted simply and comfortably. It's drag and drop. It's beautiful. I fixed a recipe on from my, my cell phone today. Oh, I went on my cell phone and made a couple adjustments to a recipe. Really? Yeah. I haven't mastered putting a whole one in yet, but I should, oh my God, I should be able to do that. Okay, this is going to be amazing. All right, so do me a favor. Go to squarespace.com. Just look at it. Because if you don't have a fresh, clean website, if your website's more than a couple years old, you know what that means? It's time for another website. All right, that's going to have a couple more minutes. We're going to come back. That's going to come out, and we're going to enjoy and love that. Don't go away. And here's what it looks like. Bring that baby right over here. Look at this. Boom. Wow. Look how pretty that is. Whoa. So what are you going to do with this? I was thinking about that in the break. What are you going to do with this? This is going to be a side dish that you're going to bring to the table. That's what you're going to do. Oh, come on now. Let me get a spoon. That's going to get so many wows. It's going to get wows. You can put a little green on top of it. I don't think you need to. And I like the fact that there wasn't cheese everywhere because look, at now you get this cool badass stuff sticking up. I'm going to put a little bit on the plate. And I just realized. Damn, that is gnarly. Look, look what I forgot. The biggest plug <laughs> of ever. Freaking garlic. I meant to put in. I don't care. It's a really big it's Okay, it'll still be delicious. <laughs> Let me try and take from a not very exciting spot so Lynn has all kinds of good edges and stuff to pull from for his picture. So I'm going to go right here. Whoa. Oh. Look at that. Get out of town, man. Should we call this baked ratatouille? I mean, it is kind of. It sounds cool. It's kind of like a cheesy baked ratatouille. That's, there's the name. Cheesy baked ratatouille. Made simple because we had the sauce all done. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> What? <laughs> That's crazy. Mozzarella. You know what happens when you make cheese this hot, Max? It burns you? Yep. Please be careful. Don't, we don't want you to burn that money maker. Your mouth. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not putting it on my ass. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Fresh, cheesy. Mm -hmm. Wow. Rich. I wish I put the garlic in. <laughs> but there's garlic in it. Oh my. And the sauce, right. This is a really nice little side dish. And honestly, you could like, you could make this whole thing in the morning, put it in the container, and just put it in the fridge. Then what I would do is I would take it out, I'd give it about 20 minutes in the oven, take it out of the oven, then put the cheese on top and finish it off. Mm. But that's an easy way to... Mm -hmm. mm. And there's still a little crunch left to some of the vegetables, you can hear them. Okay, the sauce makes this. It's a really fun dish, really fun. I want you to do this. All right. It doesn't get any easier. Start with the sauce, you'll be fine. Friday, we're making Friday. Oh, I'm doing a little fish thing. A little fish thing Friday. You're going to dig it. Okay, thanks for hanging out with us. Make the sauce. Um, come back in two days. See what we do with the fish. It's like this many ingredients, I think. It's that simple. Thanks for being here. Tell your friends about us. Goodbye.